Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import an existing Java project in Eclipse. And we are creating so many projects like billing management system, blood management system projects like that. And if you need the source code of this project, just go to that project and go to the comment section and comment with your email address. I will provide you the source code uh, on mail, okay? And when you get the mail, after that, you just need to download. When you download it, you get a zip file. You can see here. And when you extract this, you get two things in it. The first one is table doc in it. And another thing is billing management system folder. Okay. Like a project name of that folder. And when we double click on a doc. Okay. So in this, you can see there's a first step to create database. So first you need to create a database whatever you are using uh, database like uh, you are using uh, postgresql mysql or you are using oracle whatever you are using just create a database whose name is bms after that uh, you need to create a table whose name is make sure the name is same and the fields in this table is also need to be same if you make changes you also need to change in the codes so if you are beginner just don't change any name okay just make it as same as it is okay after that you just need to copy this billing management system folder to the netbeans workspace so you need to also want to know that where is our workspace so for that you just move to the netbeans id and click on file click on new project when here you go to the next here you can see the project location you can see the project location is our document and the next thing is NetBeans. Let me close this. After that, let me move to the folder here. Drive, you can say. And let me copy this. Okay, let me copy this. After that, we have to move to the document. And here, I just need to move to the workspace or location where these folders are saved. So here, I just move here. And let me copy this. Paste. You can see billing management system. Get paste here. You can see here. And after that, you just need to move to the Eclipse. Uh, yeah sorry netbeans okay after that you just need to open project click on open project and here you can see the name of billing management system project click on open project you can see it's let get loaded automatically and first thing is you need to do is go to the library section if you are using oracle database you need to j drive jet driver so here i'm using mysql that why here is driver is mysql if you are using SQLite, you just need to paste, uh, copy the, that driver, okay? After copying the driver, just uh, move to the source package. When you click on it, there is always a project package existing in my project, okay? So just click on it. You get a connection provider class. So here you are using Oracle. You have to change the name of class dot for name. And you, uh, here you also need to change the URL. And after that, this one is root is our username of our database. So you also need to change it. Okay. And at last, this one is for the password. You also need to change the password. After that, you just need to move to the default package. When you click on this, you can see these are our all the pages and image. And in my project, there's always a login page. So you just need to move to the login page dot Java. Double click on it and just move to the source. And here uh, you can see the password BMS and admin. Uh, so let me run this. Our all configuration has been done. Let me run this project and display you admin. I'm just writing and clicking on login. Uh, okay, you can see it's working. And let me click on new buyer. You can see. And let me also check that our database is connected or not. So for that, I'm just using. Uh, Writing God of and I have just contact number five six seven eight nine zero one two three four. I'm just writing here and I'm just writing God of at the rate gmail.com. After that, I'm just writing uh, uh, Bihar, Patna. I'm just writing here and click on save. You can see okay, this number is my number is already exists. So let me change to one and let me click on save successfully updated okay and okay let me close this so you can see our uh, database is connected and uh, our all things started working so in this way you can 
import an existing Java project in NetBeans. I hope you guys like this video. So please hit like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.